Hey everybody, what's up? It's Resonators N here. Now this might be a two-part video, it might just be a one-part video, depending on if I run over the 10-minute limit on quick capture. The video I'm going to do is a me sort of hashing out my idea for a research paper that I have to do for English Comp, which I'm doing graphic novels and novels and how they're similar and how they're different. Now, my thinking is graphic novels are good at some time, at some points, uh, and bad at some points. And novels are good at some points, and novels are bad at some points. I mean, with a graphic novel, you can spend much more with character development than you do have to describe where they are, the setting, things like that, because there are they there's artwork, so you don't have to do you don't have to spend so much time describing the characters, describing the setting you can more de describe how they are and what they say through dialogue and how things are and the situations and put that into words more than you can with novels because if you do that with novels you care you study characters too much and you care study uh, settings and you describe those in books the books can run on really long for a really long time you can't really can uh, do the basics of uh, conflict and stuff because if you do that, books will get really, really long and people won't read them because they're so verbose and long. Now, graphic novels take away the imagination that one brings with reading a book because with reading a book, you have to imagine in your mind what the person look like, looks like. And that brings you and immerses you into the reading um, and it sort of, if you take that away, it sort of detaches you from it. But in the same context, if you already have some idea of what the person looks like, like in the graphic novel, you can base around their reactions and how things are doing that, doing and how they would probably react more because they're focused on the character more. Because you can have interactions with characters and have longer bits of dialogue and it not seems like so much. Um, the one thing I can draw a line is if there it's a novel and then it's become a graphic novel because uh, when it once it because once someone reads a novel they have their own idea of what that char the characters look like, the settings look like, but once you take that and put it into a graphic novel that will really ruin the person's idea of what it looks like and how it looks and what it does look like and how it should look like to them. And I think that's what's good about novels. Because novels, you can imagine and put in more details and delve deeper and look at the corners of the room, look at closets in the room, imagine what's in there, and things like that. And graphic novels can give you the frame of reference for to imagine that but if you're just reading a book you're completely immersed if you're reading a novel you're completely immersed in the world you can imagine their faces you can imagine the people you can imagine the interactions you can imagine the tone of voice you can imagine so many more things with a novel because your imagination is let loose with that it is just completely let loose and you're immersed and you feel deeper and deeper into the exper experience and you become attached to those characters and if it's a long series like Twilight which I'm currently reading or the Harry Potter series which I read you get immersed into the characters and you sort of are able to picture yourself as the character and things like that and um, there's a really good um, example of that with Shadows which is by John Saw and I've mentioned before where with him writing and his writings and his perspective and everything like that you can immerse yourself in that and you can believe put yourself in those shoes and come out with the same outcome or come up with a different outcome because he is so good at describing that it doesn't need to be a novel it doesn't have to be a movie um, it doesn't have to be any kind of physical representation a colorful representation a physical representation because um, you have that mental representation in your mind of what it's supposed to look like and if you see something that contradicts that it'll fuck up your interpretation and it'll blend into it and it'll slowly take away what you believed at first to think that and I think that's what's really good about books um, 
but uh, really, books and n graphic novels are one and the same, really. Because, I mean, take Neil Gaiman, for instance. He's a writer who wrote Sandman and drew Sandman. And, I mean, that won a novel prize. It won an actual novel prize. And then those people who were so afraid of graphic novels and comics were like, they had to change the rules so that way graphic novels can never win that same award. And I think that's the mark of a good graphic novel, that they have to change the rules because they are so threatened by you that they have to make it so that way you can't win a, uh, a prize that is strictly for novels. I mean, that's how good some graphic novels are, like Watchmen. Um, v for Vendetta, Sandman, 300, they're all really cinematic and movie-like, and you believe what they say, and you believe what they look like, and you get really involved in the experience, and you it's hard for you to imagine anything else if you were just reading it in a book. Um, and I find that really good. I find that it's a really good thing to happen in books and novels. That something's just so well written and so well illustrated that people are afraid of your greatness that they have to keep you out of the realm of traditional books. But I mean, that's the sign of a truly great writer and artist for a graphic novel to become that great and that well known. <clears throat> And I mean, Neil Gaiman does uh, books, which I'm gonna—I want to read Neil Gaiman's books because I haven't been able to. I want to read uh, American Gods, things like that. I want to read stuff by a comic book artist, uh, comic book artist and writer, and a novel because I want to see how his style of writing translates to a novel, how he describes things. Um, and I—I I read something. I think it was by Warren Ellis. I'm not. Sure, it was one of the comic book. It was Crooked Little Vein. Crooked Little Vein was written by a comic book writer. I forgot who wrote it, but it's a very well written book. It's sort of like a film noir type thing, but it's really, really good, and I think you should go check it out. I read it at my local uh, library. It's Crooked Little Vein. It's a very good book. It's a relatively short book, but it's really well described. It's very well written. It's very well put together. And I would suggest people read Watchmen, uh, read Watchmen Crow, uh, Sandman, things that are very well written. I think that's what people should do and read. Um, if you take anything away from this video, novels are not um, are not inferior to novels, and novels are not inferior to graphic novels. They're on the same level. One just has pictural representations instead of verbal representations, and those same pictorial representations um, are matched by the mental representations that we as readers make of them, of the words scrawled on the page. Um, and this is what I'm going to write about for my English comp uh, two paper is how graphic novels and novels are intertwined and how awesome they are in their own respects but they're also very intertwined that you cannot separate one from the other because it takes a good writer to make a good graphic novel and it takes a good novel uh, it, it takes a good uh, artist in respects a good describer to make a great novel and I gotta say Twilight is awesome. I started reading it and I get too carried away and I read like a hundred like fifty pages in a like half hour and it's really good. It's really engrossing. You should go read it. But that was sort of my and I have to stretch it out to seven or eight pages for uh my English class, so tell me what you think about that argument. If you think it's good, tell me. If you don't think it's good, tell me why. Alright? Peace, love, and harmony from Resonator Zen. Have a good day. Peace out.